all right so we have seen the post actions in the last video and uh, we have seen these directives like pipeline stages stage steps all of these directives we have seen already now uh, let us take a look that if we have multiple stages how do we configure it here all right so first of all what i do is i remove uh, all of these post actions i just keep this always one just to make it look simple all right and here in the stage i am removing the name build and also uh, removing the uh, comment inside that which i was logging so this is actually this stage block and we had only one stage block inside this stages directive so i'm talking about multiple stages right now so what we need to do is we need to have multiple blocks like this and simply inside that what we can do is we can echo or print a message all right so if i copy this and paste it multiple times and uh, i just give the name like stage one stage two stage three and stage four so like this if i give the simple names and simply uh, i log in like that only so uh, this is how my multiple stages would be configured now an important thing is let's see how it would look like so this was just an example i have already created one jenkins file which is similar to what i have created in front of you right now uh, but yeah this would be having different name of the stages and different uh, messages that i'm logging otherwise everything uh, remains same so if you take a look here i have uh, created a uh, skeleton of uh, this continuous delivery pipeline where we have various stages for example pre-build which are the steps required for before the building and uh, then we have this build stage and then after that we have unit tests which we want to run on that particular build and then we have deploy phase where we would be targeting to deploy our build to some uh, 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 docker agent or some vm wherever we want to deploy and then once we are done with the deployment we will be running our regression test cases on that particular environment and after everything looks okay we will be releasing that uh, to uh, upper environments so that's how this complete uh, pipeline will look like uh, in future when we'll be you know um, putting all the steps here but this is uh, the skeleton right now we are preparing all right so let us see how it looks like when we configure a jenkins jobs uh, or a jenkins pipeline here with the name pipeline 4 so i need to update the jenkins file uh, that i was using so i will make it jenkins file 3 and i will save it and i will take a run and let's see how it look like so if we click on this build now now uh, once it, uh, it built successfully you will see that uh, uh, it up shows this stage view where each stage is represented separately and uh, it gives a very clear indication uh, in case of any error that at which stage uh, the build has failed and if you want to see the detailed logging that is also uh, uh, something that you can check here and uh, one more important thing is that uh, this is one view uh, there is one more view that i will be talking about in the next video which is the blue ocean view and that looks even nicer so uh, i will catch you in the next video till then goodbye